Do you recall who you? Well, I think you did. I, I think you said you um, gave your report to Officer Kirby. Is that is that correct? Detective Kirby. Yes. I'm sorry, Detective. Do you recall telling Detective Kirby that you were unaware of a vehicle on the parade route and you were unaware of people being injured? Yes, I previously stated that. Were you able to make out a license plates when it, from the vehicle when he passed you? Uh, I later learned uh, that I must have, um, but I do not recall that. So from what you recall at the time that the vehicle was passing, you don't recall getting the license plate? At this time, I do not recall the license plate, but after I shot at the vehicle, I then responded up Main Street and started triaging victims. And after doing that, um, I met with officers and I, because I couldn't get on the radio and uh, give out as much information as I wanted to. So when I spoke with other officers, that's when I explained to them that I was the one that had shot. It was not a suspect shooting, it was me. And that uh, the vehicle in question was a Red Ford Escape. And I believe I was talking to Detective Casey uh, Specialist Moss, and I believe there might have been another officer there as well, and I must have provided a license plate to Detective Casey uh, during that debrief on scene. I did not know about that until about two days later when I gave my statement to Detective Kirby and <coughs> Detective Casey, uh, because that is when I was informed by Detective Casey that I had actually provided him a correct license plate, but I don't remember that. Any reason why you didn't mention the license plate in your report? Because, like I stated, I don't remember it. So it would be fair to say if you don't remember it, then it's a possibility that you didn't get the license plate number. I would say that if Detective Casey is telling me that I told him on scene during a traumatic incident that I provided him the license plate of the vehicle, I'd have to believe that Detective Casey is correct. There's many things that I you do not remember during a traumatic incident, and I believe that's because your brain prevents you from remembering everything. So you would describe it as a traumatic incident, but you do recall using deadly force and recalling what you was aim aiming for, but not the license place or anything else like that. No, dumbass, trauma is a very negative thing, obviously. He does not remember everything. His brain is protecting him from remembering everything that he saw. So that does not mean that he doesn't remember uh, shooting at you and all that stuff. It just means that when he went down that parade route to see what he could do to help, that his mind, his brain, stopped him from remembering a lot of what he seen and a lot of what he heard. It's what you caused. And you said he called it a traumatic event. Hell yes, he's not the only one. Everyone but you calls it a very traumatic event even for people that weren't even there. You're such a dumbass. That is correct. Would it be fair to say that because you describe it as a traumatic event, 
that there was a lot of things that you probably don't recall about the incident? I would, uh, I would agree with that. I would think that there's a lot of things um, when I became, uh, when I started going up West Main Street and started seeing the absolute destruction, I, I know there's things that I did and saw that I don't really remember and I don't really want to remember. Will one of those possibly be the suspect that you keep naming? No. And how did you come to the knowledge of the make and model of the vehicle when on the exhibit that was shown, you only had an interaction with it for a few seconds? How were you able to make out the make and the model of the vehicle? Because that vehicle model has been out for quite some time and I'm halfway decent with vehicles and I readily recognize that it was a Ford Escape. So you've seen many Ford Escapes? Yes. And you said uh, the model has been out for some time, so what do you mean by that? Do you mean it it's 2022 now and that Ford model was approximately a 2008-ish to maybe a 2011, 2010-ish. So, yeah, they've been out for over a decade. And how did you come to that knowledge of the estimate of the years that the model could have been? That Would you agree that that's pretty difficult to know just off the bat? No. Would that be fair to say? No. So it would be pretty easy to tell the make and model in year of a vehicle just by looking at it. Not everybody is as dumb as you are, Daryl. Now, as far as cars, I'm totally dumb to that. I don't know what is what. There's certain vehicles I could tell, but not really. This man is a police officer. He deals with cars every damn day. He sees cars every damn day. He runs the licenses of every damn, all kinds of cars every day. So, yeah, he knew and he knows what the hell he was talking about and what he's talking about now. Like I said, he's not as dumb as you are, Daryl. That is correct. So it would be fair to say if someone had a vehicle right here in front of you, you would be able to tell just by looking at it for a couple of seconds to make the model in the year. Depending on what vehicle it is, yeah, quite likely. I'm decent with vehicles. <clears throat> what do you mean by decent? I can recognize many vehicles that are manufactured. Uh, part of being a police officer is dealing with vehicles. Um, we run a lot of vehicle registration plates, so when you match the registration to a vehicle on a response, you become very well accustomed to the many different vehicles that are manufactured. Did you at any time see the registration of the vehicle that passed you? Like I stated previous, I debriefed with Detective Casey during the incident, and he stated that I gave him a registration number, a registration plate for it. I do not recall giving him that uh, registration plate, but uh, Detective Casey informed me that I provided him a correct license plate for that vehicle. Would it be fair to say that a registration kit without, would it be fair to say that that automatically links to the, the make and model in the year of the car? Would it be fair to say that? That if you rent or if we're judging by the license plates, if you were conducting a stop and to do that you will have to run the license plates, would it be fair to say that, that all that information would come up in your computer when you run the license plate? That'd be fair to say. You had a lot of questions right there. So okay, let me let me back up then. So if you were if you were conducting a traffic stop, okay, and you pulled up the license plates of the vehicle that you were stopping, okay, would the information registered to that vehicle show in your computer? If the license plate is actually accurate and current to that actual vehicle, yes. What does that have to do with all of this, Beryl? 
that if they run the plate, it could come up with the make and model of the vehicle. I know you're trying to insinuate that the only reason they knew the make and model and year is because they ran the plate, but that's not the case. They knew that before even leaving the parade route during their investigation. So try again, buddy. It didn't work. Just so we're clear, the information would come up, though. That is correct. It should, as long as the system is working. And did you have a, a system or any equipment that could have assisted you in learning the make and the model and year of the vehicle at the time of the incident? No, I was on foot with no other equipment. So is it fair to say that you did not know that information until later when you were told by Detective Casey or another detective? No, because like I previously stated, I can recognize vehicles pretty well and I knew what approximate, I knew the, it was a Ford Escape and I knew the approximate year of it. You did testify that, and you can also see from the exhibit video, that the front end of the vehicle was damaged. Would that be fair to say? That is correct. And you can still make out the make and model and year of the vehicle with extensive damage? That is correct. Could you see the emblem of the vehicle at that point? I don't recall if I saw an emblem or not. I know the body style of the vehicle and I knew it was a Ford Escape. Would it be fair to say that many SUVs have the same type of body build? I'm sure some vehicles do look similar. So that would it be fair to say that there's a possibility that you could not make out the make and model and year of the vehicle, especially with it being extensively damaged to the front? No. Just because you tore up the front of that vehicle by hitting those people and killing six of them. Just because it's damaged like that does not mean that people can't make out what kind of make, model, and year it is. You're about as dumb as anybody has ever been. If you honestly thought and you still honestly think that this officer and other officers and other people would have not been able to figure out what kind of vehicle that was. I was confident that it was a Ford Escape. Did you notice any tents on that vehicle? Uh, the front windshield that I looked through, I know it was not tinted or it was not tinted enough to um, not make me recognize you. Did you see any tents on the side of the vehicle? Not that I recall. And if they were, they weren't that dark. You don't recall though, for sure, if there were any tints to any windows of the vehicle you saw? Well, all windows are tinted to some extent. It just depends on to what uh, percentage of tint that they come with. So. I'm sure there is tint on the on the windows because vehicles come from the factory with some level of window tint. So I guess to your question, was there any window tint? I'm sure there was, but not to a degree that would prevent me from seeing who was driving it. Explain what you mean by uh, tint percentage. So there's different varying degrees of tint that you can put on vehicles. Can you elaborate for the jury? Okay. Rounds. I'll overrule the objection. Mr. Brooks, please um, ask your question again. Um, you stated that uh, all cars come from the manufacturer with some level of tint, but you made a reference to percentage. Correct. Can you elaborate on uh, percentage what, what, what would constitute a darker tint versus a lighter tint? Well, you've asked two questions now, so which one do you want them to answer first? <laughs> the, the last one, I'm sorry. So you're asking about 
about the ten percentage. Darker. About the ten percentage. So Cute. like a a fifty percent tint would be a lighter tint than like a thirty five percent tint. So the 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 lower the percentage, the darker the tint. That is correct. Okay. You stated that you're pretty decent with uh, making out, make, making modeling years of uh, vehicles based on your line of work. Would that be fair to say? That is correct. Would you know of the make and model of the vehicle that you saw that day? Would you know if those model vehicles come from the manufacturer with any tint? Again, jackass, what does this matter? The tint has nothing to do with you mowing down those people, killing six, injuring dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens more, and emotionally damaging everybody who was there that day, and even people that weren't. Like, what, what does the tint have to do with that? Nothing. This frickin' small talk bullshit that you're doing is ridiculous. To be honest with you, I don't work for Ford, so I don't know if they come um, with tint, but I would assume <clears throat> as most vehicles, um, when they come from the factory, they come with some sort of tint. I believe usually the front is approximately 50% tint and the rears are usually, I think, 25 or 30 or something like that so from your knowledge the the backer windows are you usually coming from the manufacturer maybe a little bit darker than the front correct no further questions and did you questioning this man for over an hour get you any further than what it was before you questioned him no because this was this oh my god you're just an idiot if you think that this helped you no it harmed you if anything there's nothing that could help you nothing i hope you guys enjoyed part one and this one and i uh would like to thank you guys for watching Please like and subscribe and comment down below any suggestions or any thoughts about this video.